The productivity of different soils has a lot to do with their structure. In tropical northern Australia, soils typically have little structure, so what there is needs to be conserved. Exposing soils to intense tropical rainfall can result in complete loss of structure, reduced infiltration and erosion. Cover crops or green manure crops are grown during the northern wet season to maintain soil structure, stop nutrient leaching and reduce erosion. Without a cover crop in the tropics you, you're going to get um, high impact rainfall hitting bare soil and uh, that high impact rainfall will cause a lot, a lot of splash and that will um, put uh, soil into suspension and with extra rain you get runoff as well on the surface and if you've got um, soil in suspension in water plus runoff you get soil erosion. So with, without a cover crop you're definitely going to get some sort of soil erosion. Cover crops not only protect the nutrient rich topsoil but can also limit nutrient leaching. Uh, during the veggie and melon growing season uh, what usually happens is you use fertigation which uh, will push your nutrients through the soil profile and sometimes you'll, you'll miss the, the, the roots of the melon and veggie crop so the, the, um, the nutrients will go below what a melon or a veggie crop can, can handle. So then you've got nutrients deep in the profile. When you put your cover crop in, which is um, sorghum, like we've got here at the moment, we've got uh, jumbo sorghum, that's got a deeper root system than a veggie or a melon crop. So, so it'll be able to get those nutrients which are deep and transport them through the, the, uh, the plant. And then when you knock down the, uh, the cover crop at the end of the, the uh, wet season, those nutrients can be incorporated in the top layer of soil. So, so you actually, um, you've already put the nutrients on, you're just capturing them and keeping them into the uh, soil profile where the, where the veggies and melons can, can take them. Dense cover crops will smother weeds, including possible nematode hosts. Entomologists have found that cover crops can reduce nematode numbers over the wet season and increase crop yield over the dry. And the increase in microbiological activity associated with organic matter can reduce diseases. Cover crops, um, usually they're a different, or well, they're nearly always a different species to what you've, you've grown in the dry season. So it, it gives a break in the system. So if you've got a pest building up in, um, say, a, a melon crop, you put a, a different species like sorghum in, then that pest hasn't got anything to feed on. So its uh, numbers will go down. And same with diseases as well. It just gives it a break. So you've, you've got a non-host in your crop rotation so that you're reducing your pest level over the wet season. Cover crop establishment is maximised by firstly killing weeds in the paddock and sowing when early monsoon rain is imminent. The crop is then slashed regularly to maintain succulent growth. For instance with this, this crop you'd probably let it grow a little bit more and then you'd chop it in or, or, or you'd mulch it over the top and uh, that means the growth is still pretty soft and it, the microbes can break that down into the soil pretty quickly. If you leave it too long and you chop it off, then it's, uh, it's too woody and it won't break down. So with this sort of cover crop, you'd probably, probably be looking at cutting it two or three times in the, in the wet season. So you always got that nice soft sort of growth that will easily break down and go into the soil um, rather than the old woody stuff that just doesn't break down. Like if you leave it to the end of the season and don't, don't um, cut it at all, you end up with a huge, great, massive cover crop and you chop it off and then the rain stop and it just, it just uh, sits on the surface of the soil and doesn't go anywhere, it doesn't break down. The final cut is preceded by herbicide application to stop regrowth. Then the crop is incorporated into the soil with harrows. This is timed to make sure there is enough soil moisture for decomposition before the next crop is planted.